Hi, this is Wendy with Reardon Services. Today I'm going to do a quick video on why a Facebook business page is not not a website. Um, if you have any questions at the end of this video, you can certainly send me an email. Services at Reardon.com. Services at R-A-I-R-D-A-N.com. Or you can go to our website, stetlerwebsites.ca. So uh, on my list, you know me, got my lists. So on my list, if you're preaching to your own choir. When you have a Facebook business page and you don't have a website uh, and your expectations are that you're going to have a big return on that investment, it doesn't work. And this is what I'm hearing a lot. I have 350 likes, but nobody orders anything and... Mm, right, because the Facebook business page is set up um, this, and I uh, will use me as an example because it happened with me. Uh, when we moved to Alberta, <laughs> I hung up my sign, opened up my business, and right away 25 people liked my page. My friends and family, God love them. Um, and then it grew from there from other friends and family, same list of people that are on my friend page, that are on my personal page. So they do it in show of support, and there's a whole bunch of likes, but most of those people don't need me. <laughs> so you're not reaching out. You're not targeting the people that actually need your services or need your products by this business page on Facebook. So I think there's a lot of expectation that when you put that Facebook business page up, that you're going to get a lot of return on that investment. Business is always talking about ROI, return on investment. Um, and you don't get any return on that. Um, number two, not in particular order here. What bothers me about the Facebook business page is as soon as you're on that page, um, it's their brand. I don't care if that's your picture uh, or your logo. I don't care what images you have up there. You're still on that blue and white page that is known around the world as Facebook. So your clients and your customers are not consuming the information that's specific to you. They're still on a Facebook platform. So I feel like the branding's about half. You know, it's, yeah, your logo's up there, great. But, you know, it's just not, you're still on the Facebook platform. You're not leading the conversation. Facebook is still leading the conversation. Uh, number three, the average person on Facebook has 200 friends. Oh, some of you know people that have way more than that. Maybe you're one of them that have 600 friends. Um, for those of you that have 20, please feel free to friend me on Facebook. Um, here's the problem with that. Good thing when you're on your personal page, but when you're a business and the average person has 200 friends on Facebook, and let's say for instance, just as a conservative guess, let's guess that a third of those post something every day. Just once a day. Now, what does your friends, what does that person's Facebook wall look like? Post after post after post after post after post after the kittens and the horses and the rivers flooding and the sunsets and oh my gosh, I love it all. Um, but when you're a business trying to catch the attention of your clients and your consumers, are, and they're in that headspace of looking at kitty videos, my assistant Jasper in the back, um, you, you lose their attention. A again, you just you just can't compete with that. Not only that, Facebook is changing their rules. Again, um, and hats off to Facebook, they're having to meet a lot of new regulations, but it's, it's really frustrating for the small business Facebook is changing their rules so that they're prioritizing family and friends over business. That's a really loose explanation of what's happening, but that's all you need to know right now, is that we're not being prioritized in the same way. If you pay advertising on Facebook, if you run an advertising campaign, then yeah, you get the priority. But, um, you know, Bob's Lawnmower, who posts regularly on Facebook and, and does a great job with his social media is still not going to get the attention that those other people are getting. And you just get lost in the mix. You just get lost in the mix. 
um, there is no search engine optimization. Now, if someone, I really wanted to, to, to break up the video here and, and, and do a Google search and show you a particular business, like I can type in this particular business name as an example. You can do it with lots of business names. You type in the business name and Google right to the top. Here, here's the Facebook page, okay? And that business sells boots, okay? Boots and jeans. So they're, you know, I'll just call them uh, Joe's Western Wear, okay? Joe's Western Wear, if you type in Joe's Western Wear, boom. They don't have a website, but their Facebook page comes right to the top. Great. That's because Facebook.com Joe's Western Wear. Now, if that same client or customer that's looking for boots or jeans <laughs> types in uh, Camrose boots, they don't get, or it's pretty far down the list. And what's at the top of the list is all of the websites who have search engine optimization to meet the requirement of that Google search. That's the search engine optimization piece that's so important with websites. It's targeted information about your website so that when someone types in what, what you have as a product, what you do as a service, they type something similar to that or that specific word or term or phrase in, then the two of you meet online. It's a wonderful thing. Search engine optimization. Uh, Facebook doesn't allow that. Now, if I type in uh, Joe's Boots, great. I get information on it. I find an address. I find a phone number on the Facebook page. If I don't know about Joe's Boots and I just type in, you know, Cowboy Boots Camrose, which means, again, I'm going to say this again, if you don't have a website, you can't compete. Your Facebook page is not going to compete with, an, uh, with a, a website that's got good search engine optimization. That company that's providing the same service, same products, that has a website that does similar things than you do, that you do, if all you have is a Facebook page and they have a Facebook page and a website, they're going to get the clients. So back to that. I always say that you can't compete. Um, those are just a few of the reasons I don't like the Facebook page. Now, I'm going to tell you the pluses of the Facebook page really quick, but those are the few of the reasons I don't like them in lieu of a website. It, it just doesn't work. You cannot control the conversation. You can't control the narrative. You can't have your clients or your customers full attention. Um, you can't brand yourself. You can't um, be you in a per, or be your business in a, a completely professional light when it's strictly Facebook. Now, the pluses of Facebook, and I'm not trying to talk you out of one, you need one. Just be, I'm just, I wanna be really clear, you need a Facebook business page, it's free, get out there, you might as well use it, it's a great tool, but not in lieu of a website, okay? I don't wanna hear all the grumblings. I've already watched the first five minutes of this video, I think I'm trying to talk you out of one. I'm not trying to talk you out of it, I'm just trying to make the point, sorry, I'm just trying to make the point that you, don't want to do it in lieu of a website. Now, a couple of good things about the Facebook business page. Um, all the social media channels and, and platforms have sort of fallen into their own little thing, which is, which is in a way good. You know, um, even 10 years ago, we would tell small business, oh, just jump on all of it, do what you can. No. It's all sort of found its own little niche conversations and, 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 and different... Um, followers. Uh, um, Instagram has turned into a really casual thing. I'm really enjoying Instagram right now. Um, and I was a late comer to Instagram, but um, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I think that there's a, a real benefit to business in there. Twitter is turning into... It used to be a lot better for business. Um, it's not as easy to get leads on it anymore. It's... Uh, like Facebook, it's falling pretty quick. Social media as a whole um, is, 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 is losing leads, is, is losing that momentum that it had for small business. So um, I don't recommend everybody get on Twitter. Uh, Facebook, I do recommend everybody get on Facebook. Facebook is a great way to sort of, it's kind of my fun, you know, fun place online. 
So I, I, I want to have fun conversations on Facebook and I want to share good information. Of course, I want to be helpful, of course, but it's that one space online that we're allowed to be as, as professionals, we're allowed to be eh, a little lax and have a little bit of fun. So it's a good place to engage with your clients and your customers. I'm all for it. Again, just not in lieu of a website, use them together. They complement each other. And it's just the beginning of your, um, as far as how to use Facebook, oh, I say this all the time. I just, I'll write this down on my list because I have a hundred, but I write this down on my list. We will talk more about how to use Facebook for business, how to use Twitter for business, how to use YouTube, you know, all these different social media channels. Um, what's the best you can do with those? In the meantime, post consistently, post helpful information, and don't always talk about yourself. Talk about your community. Talk about, you know, one out of five, four or five posts should be specific to your services and products. Have a little fun. Redirect them to your website, your beautiful, easy to navigate website. Okay, do you have any questions? Services at Raritan.com, stetlerwebsites.ca. This is Wendy and Jasper signing out. See ya.